Now, Storm Team 4 with Central Ohio's most accurate forecast. Now, thankfully, we had nothing that severe here yeah. close to home. But last week, you remember Saturday was an extraordinarily windy day. Mm -hmm. And I think you're suggesting maybe you know, in the next day, a uh, couple days here, we might have to deal with some high winds again. Yeah, we keep following the same pattern because storms coming in from California, which has also been a theme, follow the same track. Mm. You know, we get a windy warm up, rain and thunder. But then as these storms continue to move past the Great Lakes, they get stronger, uh, so they just deepen to the point where the pressure is so low that the winds continue to increase and are funneled into the system. Well, and that was pretty much over us with the low over Michigan uh, Saturday. And we're going to see a very similar pattern this Saturday. So we're going to enjoy a tranquil Wednesday and midweek on the cool side with a few uh, fluffy clouds out there on our Mr. Reuter Tower Cam Review. Looks a little sunnier even than it did about an hour ago, despite the fact that a cold front is knocking on our door that will drop temperatures quickly this evening from our current reading of 53 with a brisk west wind at 18 miles an hour. As I watch radar, you'll see the showers just kind of shrivel up on the southern end, so we'll probably get nothing more than a sprinkle in, on the north side of Columbus. But between Delaware and over toward Mount Vernon and Mount, Vernon and Mount Gilead, uh, not surprising if you don't catch a, a little bit of light rain as that system moves through. And here's a better look at the showers. It may be sprinkling here where the uh, echoes are a little bit more prominent uh, just to the south and east of Dublin. So we'll count on at least a couple of showers reaching the ground. It's all related to a cold front and Alberta Clipper system well to the north. But as you know, Clipper systems bring in chilly air. You can see another cool Canadian high over Minnesota that will build in behind it. And there's drier air waiting in the wings for later tonight, which will allow temperatures to tumble. So we're looking at 46 in Delaware. You can definitely make out the cold front compared to 53 Columbus and Lancaster. It's dropped to 45 at Kenton compared to 58 at Athens. So it'll be a reinforcing shot of chilly air by 8 o'clock tonight. Any showers will be off uh, toward Coshocton and east. Some lingering clouds and notice even a couple of snowflakes over east central Ohio into western Pennsylvania. We'll drop down to about 28 in the city, but mid 20s in the colder outlying areas with scattered clouds tomorrow. But we're right back up to 54 degrees. Again, the April sun or late March sun, almost April this weekend, is quite strong. But here comes the rain on Friday, just kind of black blotchy green uh, showers, maybe a rumble of thunder with that. And uh, as far as rain potential with the system, we have to worry with saturated ground. We can handle a little over an inch of rain that will fall from Friday morning to Saturday morning without any big problems. So clouds uh, for a little while this evening with the sprinkle and turning colder, 28. 54 tomorrow, on and off rain Friday. Maybe a rumble of thunder with that, but Saturday is the day, guys, we could have winds again for a few hours, 40 gusting to 50 miles an hour, calmer on Sunday.